taking our country back from the religious right. Also with me tonight, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz, author of many books, including Preemption, A Knife That Cuts Both Ways. Great to have both of you with us tonight. Thank you. Professor, Thank I'm going to start with you first. What is the fine line between legitimately criticizing Israel or saying something that's considered anti-Semitic? I think criticism of Israel is not only legitimate, it's desirable. I criticize Israel all the time. I criticize many aspects of its war in Lebanon. I criticize its settlement policy. I criticize its uh, the occupation. Nobody has ever called me an anti-Semite. In fact, several years ago, I offered a reward, a larger reward, for anybody who could find any prominent Jewish leader, not somebody who calls in a talk show, but any prominent Jewish leader who has ever equated legitimate criticism of Israel with anti-Semitism. It's just a canard. It doesn't exist. It's made up by people who want to be somehow receive sympathetic looks because they say, oh my God, we're being called anti-Semitic. It just doesn't happen. Now, there are critics of Israel who are anti-Semites. David Duke is a critic of Israel and an anti-Semite. But one of the people who publishes in right. Michael Lerner's magazine has written, for example, that Jews, Israel should be flattered by a comparison with the Gestapo, with the Nazi Gestapo. You that goes over the line to anti-Semitism. Right. But I think generally we should avoid using the term anti-Semitism. Right. Criticism of Israel is good. Professor, you didn't have the benefit of seeing Rabbi Lerner's face so while you were talking. And for the last 30 seconds or so, he is rolling his his eyes and and chuckling what what proof do you have that this isn't made up rabbi learner <clears throat> i think many americans already know and almost every jew knows that uh, when they criticize israel they face a torrent of attack both in the organized Jewish community, where many, many, many young Jews have left our community because they are labeled uh, either self-hating Jews or really explicitly anti-Semitic. And I myself, with Tikkun Magazine, which I formed some 20 years ago, and which is the largest liberal Jewish magazine in the world, um, Tikkun has articulated a critique of Israel, and it has, uh, although we're strong supporters of Israel, but critiquing its policies and have consistently been um, uh, attacked and labeled in the organized right. Jewish community. We Rabbi, give, me, a, give me an example of something you. that you have published where you have been immediately assaulted with charges that you're anti-Semitic. And, and briefly here, because I want to give the professor a chance yeah. to jump in. Well, let me say that we've, we brought hundreds of people to Washington, D.C., um, each year to try to create an alternative to APAC. And each time we meet with our elected representatives, they tell us privately that they feel entirely agreeing with our middle past that is both pro-Israel and pro-Palestine, but that they dare not say it in public because they know that they will be assaulted as anti-Israel and anti-Semitic. And mm -hmm. this is a reality of people's experience when you go and speak to your congresspeople and try to put forward a view that, uh, that encourages them All to right. criticize See, specific right. Professor, policies. Professor, do you yeah. think defenders of Israel are too quick to label someone anti-Semitic if, if that criticism goes a little too far? It just doesn't happen. Again, and the best evidence of it is Michael Lerner. You asked him a direct question, and his answer was, well, the people who come to Washington feel that maybe they'll be called anti-Semitic. It just doesn't happen. You know, if it happened, it would be very easy. People could go on Google, could go to the website, and could find the many instances where Jewish leaders have allegedly called mere critics of Israel anti-Semitic, and they can come to me and collect the reward. It just hasn't happened. You know, you talk in your setup piece, you talked about APAC uh, counting and monitoring the votes. Every lobby group in America monitors the votes. Let me tell you what is anti-Semitism. When Israel is singled out, and only Israel is singled out for divestiture, mm -hmm. for criticism, when people say that it's okay for China and Cuba and the Palestinian Authority, but and only single out Israel, that crosses lines. When Israel okay. is compared to Nazi Germany, that crosses lines. And Rabbi Lerner, let's that keep has criticizing. happened. You know that has happened. Um, Israel is engaged in a policy that is immoral and a violation of the highest values of our Jewish people. And yet many, many Jews feel that they cannot say that without being say labeled it. an anti-Semite. Just and, say it. Well, you say and, it. And say it. Been, Nobody is going to call you an anti-Semite. Only you are saying, saying that. The, no, no, no. That's not true. In fact, it's just um, not happening. The, the leadership of the ADL has called, has called uh, Carter a bigot 
Sim, uh, and you yourself have they ever called you an anti-Semite? They haven't called it, you an anti-Semite. You're one of Israel's think, most virulent critics. Come on, I've never called you. I've, I've never been, called Carter an anti-Semite. Nobody has ever called me an anti-Semite. I'm, not, I'm critical of Israel. The world, Alan. You're but not but the why don't they the criticize world. me They're, if I'm a critic of Israel? Why do they You're allow me to say Israel? Gentlemen, we can't hear both of your talks. I'm not a critic of Israel. You haven't read my stuff. Ten seconds for closing thought, Rabbi Lerner, and we'll let Alan Dershowitz close it up. I think that, that the silencing of debate is a new kind of Jewish political correctness that is destructive to the Jewish people and destructive right. to American political debate. And, and Alan, the, Alan, you won't acknowledge that debate is ever silenced by not only the, that, the popular and uh, prestigious and, and no. legal coffers. Go the on college campuses all over the United States. There is no country more criticized, more openly criticized than Israel. In fact, supporting Israel on the college campuses today is rather difficult to do, but opposing it, everybody is free to do it and open to do it. This is an open society. Criticize anybody you want but don't accuse others of calling you an anti-Semite when it doesn't happen. They Alan do it all Dershowitz, the time. Rabbi they do it Michael all the time. Lerner, out in the open tonight. Thank you. Appreciate you both dropping by. Coming up next, some outrage in Long Beach. Has the justice system failed three white victims of a vicious hate crime or wrongfully convicted nine black teens? With the tales coming up next. A little bit later on, a black man looks racism in the face and finds friends in the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, you got that one right. You got to see it to believe it. Plus, some unguarded moments.